Hey, my name's Alan Rodriguez, and welcome to Disney Channel. Welcome to my channel. That sounds stupid and cringy. So, today we're gonna be talking about shot listing. What shot listing is, when you should use it, when you shouldn't use it, and all the in between. But mostly, what this tool can be used as a director of photography or just a general person making films in their backyard, what they can do to kind of level up their filmmaking game. Just as a little bit of background, I am a rising senior attending Northwestern University's their film program. If you wanna skip that, just, um, go somewhere over here, this time code. I have some film awards in my background. I won a student Emmy in 2020 for short form fiction for uh, my film Sumnam, if you wanna check it out, link right here. Um, or here, I, I never know which side, but it's one of those sides. Essentially, I made this channel to share with you guys my journey as I make my senior thesis film. But that's not just gonna be preparing for my own film, but also um, me as a director of photography or even other roles, gaffer, first AC, assistant cameras, for those of you who don't know, on my friend's uh, senior thesis films or even their just general projects that they're making here at the university or even uh, not in the university. So as you guys embark and watch me go about my own little journey, I hope you guys learn a little more on how to go on your own journey. Since this is the last year of film school for me, then you'll be able to kind of follow me around and see what the real world of filmmaking is and see how I become a real filmmaker in the industry. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And for right now, let's just uh, get back to the video. So shot listing, what is it? Um, I don't know really, to be honest. Um, no, no, I do know. Essentially shot listing or a shot list is a tool that you can always put into your arsenal of filmmakers, your, your toolkit per se. Uh, mostly the people who will be using this in the industry are, will be the director of photography or the cinematographer, for example. So essentially it's where uh, somebody can take a Excel spreadsheet or a Google sheet uh, and kind of be able to organize the uh, different shots that they're gonna have for the day or they're gonna be shooting for the day if, uh, between scenes, like whether it's day or night, interior, exterior, location, what shot it is, you know, medium, close-up, wide, bird's eye view, whatever, all the plethora of things that you can do. And a description of them, kind of what's happening in the scene, details on like how you're gonna do it literally on the day. For me, this is not how most people do it. I mean, specifically this would honestly be more so of a schedule. But I just like to have it in this document so I can just, once I have this set, I'll send it to the AD, the assistant director, and they are ready to go. What they do is they set up the order of these shots then. I'll work with them through that so that they're organizing kind of the schedule of when we'll be shooting everything between the day. It's also got what what type of equipment you'll be using for that shot, who your subjects are, who the characters that are gonna be filmed. And then at the very end, I like to put notes. Uh, this is, I guess for me specifically, any random thoughts that I have on that. Like, a, I don't know, maybe I think, no, oh, this'll be tough, make sure to, focus on this because I will be printing this out or I'll have it on my tablet that's when I'll be able to reference all this throughout the day I'll be able to be like oh I remember that note you know that's that's good to know about because on the day that you're actually filming this stuff it's stressful you do not want to think about anything you just want to do right the more you do rather than think the smoother things will go the less questions people have everyone's happy nobody's waiting around you're trying to figure something out now that I gave you like the basic rundown I'm gonna kind of give you, I guess, an example of how I might structure this, and I'll, I'll do this in an example of a project that I'm working on right now, actually. I've got a script that I've been sent by the director. I have a template of this. I'll just duplicate this template. Let's title it episode uno, since I already have one in there, but you know, you'll t it'll title it episode one. In that, actually, you will already have all these kind of blank. We start with, for example here, scene one. We see here, it says exterior, meadow, day. So we can honestly copy paste that all throughout here. So, exterior meadow day, Cobb, a surf in his mid-twenties, sprints for dear life through a meadow holding something in his hands. Um, so, how do we, we, we jumped right into this. I, I spoke with the director already. We're jumping right into this. There's no, no preface, just jumping. He's running. Uh, he's getting away from something. Immediately, danger. We want to portray that. So, what do we do? Um, I'd like to do a, a close-up on his face. So, start with a close-up. It's a potato in his hand. It, it, and he's white-knuckling it. So... Let's get creative with it. I'm thinking I have my gimbal. I can probably, you know, start with a shot right on his face, falling backwards and just kind of boom down with the gimbal down to the, he's cradling the potato you see. So description, Cobb running, start on face, boom to potato and hand. Cool. So for now, we're gonna ignore start time, set up t uh, start time, set up time, end up time. I will figure those out once I know all the details, right? 
what equipment I said you know I've got a gimbal I'll, I'll set that up with the gimbal so it's you know a smooth traction subjects it's Cobb our main boy Cobb the surf looking dude it was mid 20s notes think about whether since this is a gimbal shot will I be running backwards or will I have like a golf cart or just a regular car kind of I'll be sitting in the back of following him how am I going to pace along with Cobb that's a that's a quick little rundown of how it goes and that's how you can use it. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, add this template down in the description below. Um, but if not, it's really simple to make. Remember, just interior, exterior, scene, location, shot, description, and notes, right? Equipment, subject, super simple. But this is gonna make your life super easy once you get on set. All you're gonna have to do, you already did the planning. All you're gonna have to do is get there and be like, oh, shot, done. Oh, next one, shot, done, cool. It's literally a checklist, right? There's this word in French, farfelu. Probably butchering that, haven't taken French in like three years. But essentially, I, <laughs> I identify with that word a lot. Essentially, it means scatterbrained, right? And if I don't have this metric, this, this tool, this shot list, I will be lost on set. I think I'm, like, I think I'm good enough to probably make do with it and you know struggle through a shoot without this, but a shot list makes your life so much easier. Especially when you know for a fact, Murphy's Law, you will forget something. But with a shot list and a schedule, you can just cross these off. It's a checklist. You got it, you're done, move on, right? For all you cinematographers, whatever, I hope you benefit a little bit from this. If you guys are interested in following me on this journey, uh, or maybe you guys are even on your own journeys of filmmaking, I highly encourage you to uh, hit the like button, subscribe, hit that you know bell notification and stay tuned for this crazy process and if you guys are making your own films let me know what you guys are working on follow me at instagram at the alan rodriguez and i will see you guys later